What's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is David Michael Frank and today is episode two of my studio build series. This has been quite the project and it's really, really exciting to share it with you. If you haven't seen it, episode one is already out, take you all the way from framing all the way through drywall. And stage two gets pretty exciting because uh, he's pretty close to being cooked, if you know what I mean. He's ready to enter the world. So let me take you back in time. Enjoy this video, studio build episode number two. I'll see you at the end to tell you about something really exciting. All right, updating the vlog. I have driven into Nashville. I ordered all of the drywall. The guy that set up the order had added all of this stuff called furring channel, but they didn't have the right gauge at the drywall place. So I'm picking it up here in town. It's a 25 gauge. I'll explain, I'll explain what that is. I don't know exactly what I'm doing once again, but I'm looking for seven eighth inch 25 gauge furring or hat channel. Oh my God. All right, so I just bought the stuff and I realized it's 12 feet after I paid for it. So I got to the loading bay to load it up and we were like, no, nope, this is not happening. I feel so stupid that I drove this, the regular car out to do this. So now I'm gonna go rent a U-Haul from here. I should have rented it at home. I'm gonna go rent a U-Haul. And these guys close soon. All right, I got this. I'm gonna leave the car in Nashville where they drive a U-Haul back and forth and then come pick up the car. Was this necessary, dear? Okay, every option was too small for the cargo. <laughs> but I'm excited to show you. I wanna, I actually wanna film your reaction. Why, because there's like nothing in it? No, it's packed. Okay, okay. <laughs> David, you're you kidding me. You rented this whole thing for this? Yeah. This was a little overkill. <laughs> Look what has arrived. That's mine, that little purple stuff in the back. This is special soundproofing drywall. It's actually two layers, you see? And on the inside of the, between the two layers is sort of like an acoustic polymer. So that way sound vibrations won't travel from one panel to the next. These clips are gonna go on these studs, right? And so now the only thing that's gonna be touching the stud is this little rubber thing. So that's stopping sound because air is the biggest way to stop vibrations. After the clip, these things, they're called furring channels attached to the clip and then the drywall attaches to the furring channel. Drywall, furring channel, clip, stud. That's the process and it's gonna create a separation. So the drywall is actually hanging away from the wall. So if the drywall is vibrating from sound, it's not even touching the wall. As soundproof as I can. Oh my God, we have light. That's, that's exciting. Good job. You've got to be excited right now. I, I, there's still so much work to do. I am very excited. What's up? All right, so I'm back working on the studio again. I just put down all of the floor underlayment. And before that, I had to knock out all these little pieces of wood that had staples in them that were holding the carpet all around the edge of the entire room. It was a nightmare. But now that I've got that done, I have swept out everything, I vacuumed it up, and I am doing the underlayment 
which is gonna go underneath the hardwood floor, which has been all laid out. And then I'm going to put in the first piece of floor, and then I'm just gonna start doing floor. I'm gonna start in that corner. So, uh, also by the way, I am live on TikTok right now. Uh, everybody on TikTok, uh, go ahead and say hi to the studio building vlog. We got Juan and Jess and Cajun Love and Laloba and Victoria and Michelle and April and Dave and Chris. Look at all these guys loving being a part of the studio build. This has been a process, but one of the really, really exciting things about building the studio is that I wouldn't be able to do it without all of my supporters over on Patreon. Let's lay down the very first piece of floor. This is an iconic moment. My father-in-law, Steve, has already cut it for me. So Steve did the hard part. Here we go. The first piece of wood flooring is going in is up against the wall, flush, and that is it. We have started. The floors have started. All right, let's keep going. Fuck yeah! Screw this corner, but it is done. That's good enough, that's good enough. The room is done, the main control room is done with the floor. Now onto there. Woo! Woo! Yeah! All right, so I'm hard at work finishing up the studio. There's literally one piece left, um, but there's an event that I'm going to uh, that is starting right now, so I have to go. Uh, it is at Blackbird Studios. It is the nicest, most expensive studio in Nashville. Um, so I'm gonna go and like enjoy the free food and walk through the studio. Um, and go check it out. And Steve is in town. He's been helping, of course, on the studio. So uh, I'm bringing Steve along. I'm not bringing Nala along. But Nala, we're gonna go see a studio that is a lot nicer than my studio. But maybe it'll inspire something. Maybe. All right. I'm so excited to see it. This is Berry Hill, which at one time, in the earlier days in Nashville, like when I first came to town 33 years ago, everything was on Music Row. And then things started moving out here to Berry Hill, like Playground Studios, the studio you see over here, kind of the dark tan uh, or a gray house. We were down the road, we get ran over. That was one of the, the first studios over in this area that we uh, would record at a lot. And then eventually everything around here became publishing companies, management companies, studios, or probably Every other building here has a studio in it. And Blackbird I, was the is the light blue, right? Right. It's light probably the most well known yeah. studio in all of Nashville. But like right around the corner here, when I auditioned for Faith Hill's band, was in a studio, and that was just right around the corner here. It's just this whole area now has kind of become the kind of the music row now. This is yeah. kind of the hit place to be. Acoustic diffusers have showed up, and finally, after about a month, my desk is finally here. I ordered it off of Etsy. Uh, it was the coolest desk out of all the desks. I did all the research I could, and I found a desk builder, um, and it's a sweet one, I, I hope. Fingers crossed. So I'm gonna assemble it. And then at the same time, Jacqueline is 40 weeks and two days pregnant. So I have the pregnancy ball in here. She's gonna come hang while I assemble this desk, and she's gonna roll around on the ball, try to get into labor. Wish me luck, wish us luck, all three of us. I just laid the carpet down. I am in the middle of putting the desk together. Sort of crazy. I'm working on this right now while Jacqueline is asleep upstairs. We're two days past our due date, so I don't have much time. I'm really excited though. I gotta get this done so that I can record that EP for the baby. Oh, I can say his name. So I can record after his debut EP. This video came out after. That's perfect. All right, there's my last few doors. It looks great, a bit of a gap. And we're back. Thank you so much for watching Studio Build Episode 2. Drop a like, drop a comment. Do you remember that time? It doesn't feel that long ago. I mean, I guess it has been. It's been a lot of work to get to the studio to where it is. And I can't wait to share the final studio product. So at the beginning of the video, I told you I have something very exciting to tell you. 
I do. If you are part of my Patreon community, I'm going to be doing something really special to thank you for supporting my music, my videos, my art. These people are the people that are already a part of the community that are making it possible to pursue my dreams, build my dream studio, get my original music out, focus on the art, focus on the message, focus on the meaning behind it, and connect with as many people as possible. So I'm going to be doing something really special for every single Patreon supporter, patreon.com slash future sunsets. When my final studio build video comes out, go see what it's about, but if you want to join a small community that makes it possible for me to even be doing what I'm doing. It's like the 0.0001% of my fan base that makes it possible and supports my art so that the 99.9999% of my fan base can consume it for free. And it's also an awesome community with some great perks. So head on over, go check it out. And I'm going to be doing something very special to thank all my patrons for supporting me. And that's it! Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Go subscribe to the vlog channel. Uh, we're always doing cool stuff. Frank Family Vlogs. Link is in the description. Make sure you're following me everywhere, including Spotify. And you can follow this guy too. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye! Goodbye!